Hey everyone, uh, this is Knight Robbie. Welcome to Best of Video Games TV. As you can see here, I'm going to be showing uh, my score here so you know that this is a video worth watching. I'm BOVG right there on my Xbox Live Gamer tag. As you can see, I got top in the room and I uh, have a habit in for Battlefield for some reason uh, doing really good. But um, I'm going to share with you a bunch of tips and tricks on why I did so good in this game and why I'm, you know, relatively good in this game. Um, for Battlefield 3, which is out in about six hours, so that's really exciting. I cannot wait for this game. I'm a huge Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2 fan, Battlefield fan in general. And uh, be sure to visit BOVG.TV and our Facebook. All of that information is going to be in my description here, so you can check that out. Um, now, Battlefield 3 requires a lot of patience, so just remember that. That is one thing you want to just uh, have in the back of your uh, mind all the time. Don't sprint too much and run into the firefight because it's just not worth it. Um, look both ways. Take the time out to look both ways. I know that sounds a bit simple, but think of it. It's a simple premise. You've been told to do that all your life. Do it in this game. And it has helped me a lot, actually, in this game because it's a very open world feel to the entire battlefield. Um, also, you're going to always start out a lower level in this uh, game, of course, who isn't. But stick with your squad at all times and learn to uh, be a good squad member. And in doing that, you're going to get higher points anyway. So why not be a good squad member? And um, help your squad out by healing them, reviving them, giving them the ammo boxes they need because uh, weapons require ammo. Um, once you uh, level up, the game re really does open up for you and uh, you'll understand it more. Um, also, think of one thing when playing this game. Don't go straight down the middle. They give you enough open space to where you have the opportunity to do some major flanking in this game. So I found that in particular to be really helpful. Um, I noticed in my previous video of Battlefield 3, someone did comment on that and they said that Hey, I noticed you're flanking. No one else is doing that. And it's true, a lot of people are just going straight in and dying. And that's, uh, I think that's a Call of Duty mentality that has come over into Battlefield, but a lot of players do it anyway. And uh, right now, prone is something new to uh, Battlefield 3, certainly not to shooters. Um, and uh, you definitely want to use it in this game. Take your time, crouch, because crouching, of course, in increases your accuracy for your weapons, which really does help. Um, suppressing the enemy is just a huge thing in this game. Spotting your enemy, so make sure you spot them. And uh, getting the charge set gets you a lot of uh, points. If you are the squad leader, happen to become the squad leader, which uh, I think, I don't know how they determine that exactly. Maybe the highest level player, I'm not sure. But you have the opportunity of marking the objective by pressing select over it. And it will tell everyone else, I'm heading this way, you should be going that way too. You'll actually get more points if everyone is attacking that objective. You'll see that happen. I believe it might happen in this video. I don't know if I'm the squad leader in this particular video. But my previous video, I did uh, was squad leader and I managed to get some points just from doing that. Which I believe is a new mechanic. I don't think they have that in Battlefield Bad Company 2. Um, just never go down the center of the map and try spotting your enemies. And uh, that'll really, really help you uh, out. And Another technique my twin brother Ryan and I always do is lead and follow. Have someone leading the group and you'll be able to follow them and it just minimizes the amount of communication required to get to point A to point B. You don't want to always ask where are you at, where are you at, because that's just a huge uh, problem if you both are asking that and one of you just needs to lead and you could reverse those roles of course in the next uh, match or whatever and find out who's the best leader, who's the best follower. It really doesn't matter as long as you're helping your squad. This is definitely a team-based game and I'm noticing, thankfully, that they're becoming more and more popular. And I've heard that there are some reviews are coming in here and it's great news because uh, a lot of the bugs are not present in the final version at all. Now some of the flickering is when you respawn, your initial respawn, you might see a fl flicker or two, which I know all of us are familiar with that from the beta. But it's great to know that that isn't present when you're roaming around the map. That would just suck. And um, another thing I wanted to mention was uh, just keep on following with your squad. You know, um, make sure you're all both on this. Uh, everyone's on the same page and moving uh, forward. And um, for BLVG.TV, I wanted to say that we're actually looking for staff, volunteers, 
moderators and uh, we're also planning out a clan for Battlefield 3 and we would love to have uh, like-minded gamers with us because uh, we're a mature crowd. We really want people that are mature and you know aren't into you know the rage of gaming and aren't, don't, don't take it too seriously. I mean it's a fun game. Just have fun with it. If you have fun with it you'll do good. That's my philosophy behind this game. I don't take it too seriously, I just naturally play it. And after doing that, having fun, I've gotten better at the game. So uh, stop by BOVG.TV and let us know if you're interested in becoming a moderator, a clan leader, whatever, because we'd love to have you. We're looking for people that are around our age. I'm 26, so it'd be great to have uh, people around, you know, around 20, something like that and onward, so that would be cool. And right here I'm arming this objective with this guy. And the thing is, don't be selfish in this game. Yeah, sure, if you see a guy arming the objective, try not to beat him to it or whatever. Guard him, you know, lay down the first med pack. That will uh, pay dividends to the strategy. And if you're starting out, um, don't be afraid to follow a player that is a higher rank, or if you notice that they're really up on the leaderboard, follow them. Find out what they're doing, find out their strategy, because I've done that in past games, I'm not ashamed of it. I need to learn how to play games, and uh, this game, I, it's just a natural thing for me. I, I learned this game on my own, I didn't have to follow anyone around. But that does help, paying attention to what um, the really, really good players are doing. Um, also, staying alive may sound simple, but it is a lot more important than you think. If one of your team members goes down, they could spawn on top of you. Anyone in their squad they could spawn on, as long as they're alive, of course. And um, I think a lot of people don't realize how important the kill-to-death ratio is in Battlefield. I know that people say kill-to-death ratio does not matter in this game. But it truly does. I mean, it matters in any game. Because if you're dying a lot, the other team is going to end up winning. You know, winning. And um, you need to stay alive for your... Uh, squad to spawn on you and the more people you have on uh, advancing into position and getting on that objective quicker and overwhelming the enemy the better chance you have so uh, just keep that in mind when moving forward um but on the flip side of that just because you can spawn on someone doesn't mean you should before you spawn on someone pay attention to uh, what they're doing are they in the middle of a major firefight because, again, dying in this costs you, you know, time and everything. So consider who you're spawning on, what situation they're in. If it's worth the risk, um, sure, go ahead and do it. And, um, I mean, just you can pick up points for your squad member spawning on you. So keep that in mind. Having, a sp uh, uh, your, excuse me, having your squad spawn on you gives you points. So that's really great. Um, so stick with your team, don't get too bunched up, you know, because one grenade can knock out your entire team, so that's not good, so you won't be able to spawn on anyone in advance. So try to keep your distance just a little bit, stick with your team, but keep, you know, that distance to where you're comfortable, because I've seen, what, five guys get taken out by one grenade just because they're all bunched up in a corner, I know. It just looks like such a bad situation. I'm laughing. I'm thinking, these dudes are going to get taken out. And next moment, you know, they're all lying on the ground. And I have to revive them all. <laughs> it's pretty funny, but um, it's something that people don't think about. Their awareness with the other squad members and what's going on there. And it's like, it's very realistic to uh, military tactics of real life. So, that's pretty cool. Um, if you find that you are uh, pinned down by sniper or if you're in a hairy situation, um, make sure you uh, throw those grenades. How many times have you died just uh, with a grenade on your body? Wasted uh, ammo. And you know that you should have used grenades just to fill the area out because using grenades can tell you if there's an enemy behind the next corner. Um, because I, f I found it uh, so helpful not only for Battlefield 3, but for many other games because there's usually that um, hit detection marker that pops up in the center of the screen, that big X that tells you, oh, you got a hit on someone. Even if you haven't killed them, you know. You got to be careful, there's someone there. And it just gives you that intel to move very cautiously and uh, carefully. Another thing that is uh, hugely helpful in the Battlefield series is the new suppression technique. Uh, go ahead and take your time and uh, suppress the enemy. 
Um, don't be afraid to, uh, you know, have those bullets raining over their head, even if you're missing them a little bit, because uh, what happens is your enemy screen blurs. And this is a new mechanic to Battlefield 3. It wasn't in Battlefield Bad Company 2. This is especially useful for those support roles with light machine gun. And you'll find uh, that uh, you'll get points from that. Especially if you kill them, you'll get the suppression points, the uh, kill, and maybe even a kill assist. So you see right there, I just uh, got a suppression assist and a kill assist. So that's really good. Um, I can't uh, tell you how important firing in bursts. Short, controlled bursts. Um, if you come up against someone and you wonder why did I just lose that firefight, just Let's think go. back, come was on, I holding please. down the trigger? Because that really affects accuracy and uh, it'll get you killed <laughs> in the long run, so uh, don't let that uh, happen to you. Um, so just stay alive for your team and uh, just uh, never hold down the trigger. And uh, make sure you are switching from single shot um, when you need to, you know, because this game does have uh, the uh, firing modes in it where you can choose burst, um, semi-automatic versus uh, fully automatic. And uh, it's helpful for counter sniping in a way. So I've, I've found it particularly helpful in that specific situation of uh, going up against a sniper. And it's been... Um, very, very helpful. All right, so what else can we say here? Just uh, make sure you're always laying down those support packages. I mean, ammo crates, medic crates, whatever you can find, just lay it down. Um, but the area that you lay it down is in is just as important as laying it down. Don't lay it down in an area where you know that everyone's just going to get killed. They're, they need a fallback position, especially for, you know, ammo and uh, medic packs. They need to fall back, regroup, get their ammo. Um, just uh, pay attention to where everyone is grouped up and that will help you out determining where to lay that down. Um, another thing is uh, choose your role dependent on the situation. Don't be too selfish uh, about being a sniper, for example, or just being one role during the entire game. You'll find that a lot of your teammates, I have found this in the beta at least, a lot of my teammates ended up um, going out of ammo. And no one was doing anything about that. So I ended up switching my role and helping them out. And voila, I got tons of points. So that helped me out a lot. And that's probably one of the reasons why I've done so good in this game is just adjusting to seeing and paying attention to what's going on on the battlefield. And um, this does really, really uh, help you. Now, Maddox here, as you can see at the right, lower right uh, corner, you, the 100% there is your health. Uh, so pay attention to that. You don't have regenerative health in this game. Um, if you can pay attention to that, you need to know when to fall back. If your health is at 50%, go ahead and take the time out to fall back, lay down that medic kit, and huh, that body just disappeared. That's not good. Now this is the beta for those that don't realize. This is not the final build. So just be aware of that the final build from what I'm hearing from reviews is just um, really, really good. I mean, like uh, one reviewer said, if you're a fan of Battlefield, go pick up the game. Don't even ask, don't even doubt, just pick up the game. And I totally agree. Just from playing the beta, I had—I mean, DICE is a great company. They know what they're doing. They're not going to release a glitchy game. They're not going to release something that they're not fully proud of. I mean, they come back from the days clear when they made Rally Sport Challenge series, and I love that game. I always love mentioning that game when mentioning DICE. And as you can see, we won that round. So just remember uh, these tips, and I hope they were helpful to you. Uh, be sure to visit uh, BOVG.TV. Uh, leave your comments, your questions, we will answer them. We're going to be doing a lot in the future with Battlefield 3 as well as other games, so look out for that. Um, and if uh, you want to join our staff, please let us know. Uh, message us privately, leave a comment, we'll reply to you. Thanks for watching this video, and have a good one.